Hey internet, for this video I'm going to solve a probability statistics problem. The moment generating function for x1 and x2 is mx1 x2 t1 t2 equals e to the 3 t1 plus t1 squared minus 4 t2 squared minus 3 t1 t2. Find the variance of x1. So we have mx1, x2, t1, t2 equals e to the 3t1 plus t1 squared plus 4t2 squared minus 3t1, t2. And we want the variance of x1. The variance formula is as follows. Variance of x1 is equal to expected value of x1 inner squared minus expected value of x1 outer squared. Since t1 corresponds to x1 and we want only variance of x1, use the moment generating function for x1 only. mx1 t1 equals e to the 3 t1 plus t1 squared. And this is obtained by letting t2 equal 0. Okay, in order to get variance of x1, as you can see from the formula, we need the expected value of x1. We only need expected value of x1 and expected value of x1 squared. The expected value of x1 is used for the outer squared part of the variance formula, and the expected value of x1 squared is used for the inner squared part of the variance formula. Okay, let's solve for expected value of x1. To get the expected value of a moment generating function, take its derivative. So take the derivative of the moment generating function, which is the derivative of e to the 3t1 plus t1 squared, and we let t1 equal to 0. To get the derivative for e with an exponent, just take the derivative of the exponent like you normally would, then multiply it with e and the exponent unchanged. The derivative of e to the 3t1 plus t1 squared is 3 plus 2 t1 times e to the 3 t1 plus t1 squared with t1 equals to 0. Plug in 0. 3 plus 2 times t is 3 times e to the 3 times 0 plus 0 squared equals 3 times 1. For those that don't know, e to the 0 is equal to 1. Punch it in the calculator if you don't believe me. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So the expected value of x1 is equal to 3. Now let's find the expected value of x1 squared. Get the second derivative of the moment generating function. Since we already have the first derivative from solving expected value of x1, we can obtain the second derivative by plugging in what we got from expected value of x1 and taking its derivative. So take the derivative of 3 plus 2t1 times e to the 3t1 plus t1 squared. t1 is equal to 0. You will have to apply the product rule here. The product rule is if you have a product of two variables a, b, then its derivative is the derivative of a times b plus a times the derivative of b. So the derivative of 3 plus 2t1 is 2 times e to the 3t1 plus t1 squared plus 3 plus 2t1 times the derivative of e to the 3t1 plus 2t1 squared which is 3 plus 2t1 times e to the 3t1 plus t1 squared. Remember, taking the derivative of e to the power of something is just the derivative of the exponent, aka the power, multiplied with e to the power of whatever it is. t1 equals 0. Plug in 0 to where t1 is. 2 times e to the 3 times 0 plus 0 squared plus 3 plus 2 times 0 squared e to the 3 times 0 plus 0 squared.
this equals 2 times e to the 0 plus 3 squared times e to the 0 equals 2 times 1. Remember, e to the 0 is equal to 1 plus 9 times 1 equals 11. Okay, now that we have the values needed to solve for variance of x1, plug it in the formula. Variance of x1 is equal to expected value of x1 inner squared minus expected value of x1 outer squared equals 11 from the expected value of x squared minus 3 from the expected value of x, then square it equals 11 minus 9 equals 2. So the variance of x1 is 2. And that's it. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.